All right, <laughs> we're going to start low. We're going to start adding and subtracting rational expressions. Uh, but the problems that we're going to do for these first four are just with like denominators. The denominators are the same when we're adding or subtracting. Adding and subtracting should be treated differently than multiplying and dividing. When you're multiplying and dividing, you know, just do what you got to do. When you're adding or subtracting, you add or subtract um, based on whether the denominator is the same or not. That's it. Let's go ahead and do the first one, which reads 5 over 3x plus 7 over 3x. And the next example I have is 5, sub, 5 over 3x subtracted by 7 over 3x. Not a big deal. The denominators are the same, so I can add or subtract. That's not the same when you're multiplying or dividing. When you're multiplying or dividing, you do what you're supposed to do, which is on the previous video lessons. But when you're adding or subtracting, uh, if the denominators are the same, add the numerators. 5 plus 7 is 12 over 3x. Uh-oh, 12 over 3x does reduce. Uh, 12 over 3 is 4 over 1x. You don't really need 1x. 4 over x will suffice. And you can divide them because it's one term divided by one term. Done. Next one. Uh, denominator is 3x because I'm adding or subtracting like denominators. 5 subtract 7. Negative 2. I cannot reduce negative 2 and 3. So that is the answer to the second one. Next one. The denominators are the same. So I combine it as one fraction. I leave the denominator alone. 2x, subtract 1. And I have 4x plus 2x, which is 6x. And I have 1 plus negative 3, which is negative 2. Mm -mm -mm. I can reduce the numerator. I can take something out. I can take out a 2. And when I divide both these terms by 2, I have 3x, subtract 1 over 2x minus 1. Still can't do anything, but get in the habit of factoring when you're supposed to factor because maybe you could have divided that one out. So the most difficult step there was the factoring step, as it will usually always be. Next one, I'm subtracting, but the denominators are the same. So it's 2x over 1. I got 4x, subtract 2x is 2x. Careful here, I've got 1 Subtract negative 3. That's 1 plus 3, which is 4. Careful on that. I can actually factor out uh, the numerator with uh, the GCF out of the numerator. So if I take out a 2, I've got x plus 2 over 2x. Subtract 1. Put parentheses or put a quantity around the denominator. It never hurts. It's 2x plus 4. Done. Now some people say this step. Mr. Shahani, this ain't so difficult. You're a liar. Well, I wish I was a liar. This is the easy stuff. When we get to denominators that are not the same, it becomes more difficult. That's when students say, oh, I hate this stuff. I say, eh, calm down, calm down. It's not so bad. Uh, but until then, we'll try those problems. Have a good day for now.